Hello, everybody. In this video, I will introduce Sculpt, the new automatic hole drilling functionality by JoinerCAD. The Sculpt function consists of two essential elements, the hardware geometry and the corresponding hole geometry. When combined properly, they result in a hardware with a drill body. Let us look at three examples, the Comfermat, the Minifix joint, and the hinge. We start with the Comfermat consisting of two solid bodies, body one, which is a Comfermat itself, and the hole, the body of the hole geometry, which is turned off because there is no sense in seeing the body in geometry. In this case, however, I am combining the image of the body of the hole to make it clearer how the two geometries, the conformat and the hole, correlate with each other. Right-clicking on the context menu brings a new feature, Sculpt Management. This function has four modes. Normal, components are involved in the operation of Sculpt, this feature is the default. Neutral, components are protected from the operation of Sculpt. Additive, if the solid body has the additive attribute, the geometry of the body will be added to the geometry of the normal body after the Sculpt operation. In other words, it is possible not only to cut holes, but also to form additional projections. Mortise and tenon joints or jig dovetail joints are good examples of this. Subtractive. Subtractive geometry can be used to create holes and subtractions wherever needed. In this case, the neutral function is assigned to the conformat and the subtractive attribute is assigned to the hole. This way, the component is fully described and can participate in the sculpt operation. The Minifix component is described similarly. The cam, dowel, and other components are described as neutral, while the holes that are expected to appear after cutting are described as subtractive. Finally, the same situation applies to the hinge, which has solid bodies that are involved in the cutting. Accordingly, the holes required for the attachment of the component will be formed after the sculpt operation. Let us take a simple example in which two components will be inserted, a conformat and a minifix, which have pre-described holes. We place them in the desired position by using the standard Fusion 360 tools. This way, they will be able to transfer the geometry of the holes to the panels after sculpt surgery. It is worth noting that the sample hardware that comes with JoinerCAD have been updated and have pinhole elements.
Using the Select function, the panels to be used in the sculpt operation are specified. It is also possible to use the Automatic Assembly function. In addition, not only the components contained in the Joiner CAD material can participate in the sculpt operation, but also all other components if they are part of the selection set. When sculpt is selected, holes are automatically formed according to the whole bodies. When the visibility of the hardware elements is turned off, the holes in the panels can be seen immediately. Let us look at the real-life example. There is a commode with the hardware components. For simplicity, a drawer unit is selected. As seen, it is fitted with hardware at the points where the holes are to be formed. The joint command is called. The components containing joiner CAD material are automatically assembled and the sculpt operation is performed. Let us focus on one of the panels from the sculpt operation. As can be seen, now it has holes formed according to the solid bodies of the hardware. You can see how easy it is to form the geometry you want and apply it. Accordingly, the model can be used for CAM or drawings describing hole sizes and positions for drilling or milling operations. Good luck!